Hello 3D Printer peeps, hello Cura users. I'm here today to show you a tool you can use to dial in specific filaments to specific printers. Rather than guessing your way through settings and just sending it, hoping it will work out, there are tools you can use that are specifically helpful in determining the best temperature, flow, retraction, and speed for your 3D printer with a specific filament. I mentioned specific filament because different brands, colors, and materials can have different results on different printers. When you switch to a different brand, color, or a different material for the first time, there are tests you can run to help determine the best settings for that filament before wasting your time and material on a real print. These tools are called towers, and they are built into Cura. However, there are also third-party tools that do the same thing, and that is what we are going to use for this demonstration. In Marketplace, go ahead and look for something called Auto Towers. Go ahead and install Auto Towers Generator and restart Cura. When you do that, up here under Extensions, you will see a new tab called Auto Towers. The Cura version of this is called Parts for Calibration, and there are some really useful calibration parts in here that we'll talk about another time. For now, I want to use the towers from Auto Towers because I like the specific testing settings they offer over Cura's built-in tower testing settings. One of the first tests you should run is your temp tower. You scroll down and choose the material you are working with, for example, PLA. This will place a tower on the bed, and you will see this little indicator in the corner, the A button. Pressing this A button will remove the model and the custom G-code associated with it. This model has numbers on the side. They represent temperatures, 220, 215, 210, 25, all the way down to 180. The G-code is automatically set to instruct your printer to make these temperature changes at these specific sections in the tower. Once you print this tower, the goal is to examine it carefully and look at the overhangs, the bridging, the top surfaces, the layer lines to determine which one prints the best. You will then use that temperature going forward for your model slicing. The next test you can run is called a flow tower. There are two types of flow towers available to you. The spiral tower, which is this crazy thing that tests various overhangs, top surfaces, circles and tunnels, walls and layer lines, or a more simplified flow tower that looks like this. Which one you want to do is up to you, but the spiral tower is a little bit more advanced, offering a slightly more intensive test of your printer's function. Much like the temperature tower, you will then go ahead and look for which one of these has the best layer lines, the best bridging, the best overhangs, the best top surface, and then go ahead and use that flow setting for this particular filament. For example, if 105 is best, we type 105 into our material flow setting. If this print provides a number that looks clean and acceptable to you, you can go ahead and do a speed tower. If you experience stringing, lumps, bumps, zits, pimples, gaps, etc., we will go ahead and do a retraction tower next. There are two available retraction towers, distance and speed. If you are using a Bowden setup, Bowden setups require longer retraction distance. I would do four to nine. If you are doing a direct drive setup, such as the spray extruder, they require a shorter retraction distance. I would do one to six. Let's say we're doing the spray extruder at one to six. You will see it places a retraction tower showing flat walls and rounded walls at retraction distances of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, after sending this print with the temperature and flow that you came up with from your previous testing, for example, temp 210, 
flow 105. We will run this tower and see which retraction setting looks the best with the current flow and temperature setting. Once you've got that speed dialed in, if everything looks great, you are done. Move on to a speed tower. If it looks like one is better than the rest, but not perfect, we will then go ahead and dial in a little closer with a speed retraction tower test. Most printers that people are using at home are working with retraction speeds of 10 to 50. If for some reason you need higher speeds, go ahead and set those higher speeds but most of us will work with 10 to 50. You will now see it place a tower with retraction speeds from 10 to 50, making sure you go into your settings and set your retraction to the best result from the previous test. For example, one. Now having the flow and temp already set, we will slice and send this retraction speed tower to the printer. When you're done, you will study the results Find the one that looks the best. If one of these is clean, we will go ahead and move on to our speed test. Clicking on extensions, auto towers, and speed tower. Most machines can easily handle 20, 30, 40, even 50. To have success at higher speeds, 60, 70, and beyond, will require a finely tuned and calibrated machine. Those of you who are doing this can go ahead and push the 50 to 150 temp tower. For the rest of you, I recommend the 20 to 100 temp tower. This temp tower will not test top surfaces, but it will test large walls, 90 degree turns, and small sidewall details, as well as layer lines. This test will help you identify, based on the parameters you have determined to give you the cleanest print, how fast you can push your machine without quality loss. Just like other models, when this model is done, you can study these numbers and the results to determine which speed gave you acceptable results and which speed started to present quality loss. Of course, you will then use that speed as a baseline, not as an end all number, because some prints have small, thin parts. Some prints have complicated designs and details. Those prints will require slower speeds to get the same results you might get at higher speeds for less complicated models. Using these towers from the Auto Towers or even Cura's own Parts for Calibration Towers can save you time and material, frustration and stress while trying to determine the best settings to use a specific printer with a specific filament. Go ahead and practice working with these towers. It will improve your results exponentially by giving you specific information on how best to work with your printer rather than just guessing. Mm -hmm.